everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Pool of Radiance as part of 8-Bit Obscurity. Now in the last episode we attacked the Buccaneer base and started wiping out all the guards and ran into some more guards and we freed a, a prisoner, the one we were looking for, the kid with the tattoo on his shoulder, or the birthmark, whatever it was. And now we're facing down the, uh, the main force of the Buccaneers. Um, I will say this, uh, there was a fight in between the one I did on the last episode and where I started here. That's why you'll see the difference in the experience points from the last episode. It was exactly the same fight, so I figured I, I did the same tactics, the same thing, and it worked twice. Um, there was no real reason to record it because it was exactly the same. Now, this fight here, the captain, um, I will also say this, already lost to him, once. And, uh, it was an episode that I was recording, it was gonna be about 20 minutes, and right at the end I lost. So, this time we're not going to waste any time attacking the captain, because the captain himself wrecked me like no other. So if you're watching this, that means I win at the end. I, I'm not ashamed to, uh, to say it. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how many times I have to do this uh, Groundhog Day loop just to get this guy down. You also notice that I'm not wasting any time using my, uh, my fireballs, even the necklace because they're all 5th level fighters. There's a mixture of 3rds in there, but there's not many 3rds. There's more 5s. And there's the sub-captain who beat my butt. And there was the captain who just wrecked my entire party. It was a complete game over. So, if you're uh, playing this game, or thinking of playing this game, or remember playing this game, you're probably saying that I'm kind of dumb for doing this fight. I can see it now. I can see it now. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to, you know, end the last episode in the middle of this place and then start the next one saying, okay, well, I achieved my way through it, or okay, I finally beat these guys off screen. That would be kind of kind of crappy, so. For some reason I can't use magic. Don't know why. So he's gonna have to attack. He has spells, I know that. I do have a fireball ready to go. I thought I was gonna be able to use it this round. So our main focus here was to take out the captain and the sub-captain. Now unfortunately the captain looks exactly the same as the rest of the soldiers. <laughs> Uh, but he's the one that's not going to move. He's going to stand back, he's going to shoot me until I die. And he did. So... I need to return the favor by focusing on him. He has a lot of AC. And he just wasted my... Uh, my mage. So, I am not going to spare any punches here. I'm going to use... I'm going to start with the necklace of missile. I don't care if it if I run out of power with it and I lose the item, uh, I'll find another one somewhere. I actually know where I can find one. I just haven't picked it up because it was well away from where uh, I needed to be, so... If there ever was a point in this game that I saved my powers, it was for this fight. So, well, <laughs> it's just a matter of uh, seeing if we can do it or not. And why can't she use magic either? understand why I'm not able to use my spells. It 
making me a little aggravated. Yeah, and that captain, he must have incredible fat go because he is hitting me on every turn. I don't think he's missed. I don't remember him missing at all on the, the last time I did this. So maybe, uh... Maybe the whole part of me fighting everything in this place uh, was mistaken bravery, because... <laughs> Maybe it just shouldn't have been done. Now I can cast spells. Old person. That spell that I stocked up on and never used. Doubt it's gonna work on him. But I can use it on multiple people, so... Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Incredible. Thank you. Krellin's sacrifice is not in vain. And neither is, uh... my missile item. So I just need to get to him and hit him. See if I can hit him from here. The sling. Yes. Fif he had 54 more hit points. He was not going down anytime soon. He took all those fireballs, too. I think he had, like, upwards of 100 plus hit points. So, a whole person saved the day. I got very lucky there. It was just a matter of finishing these guys off and moving on. gonna miss every turn, that's nice. So the fact that these guys are people, I should have realized that. The last time I tried this, I, she died so quickly that I couldn't even get off a spell, because the uh, captain focused on her. Up. It's a shame that Krellin's not going to get this experience points because he needs it. is dead. You're really gonna do that too, aren't you? There you go, rock to the back of the head. Alright, less experience than, <laughs> than the first one. But we did it. We freed the slaves. Not as good as Abe Lincoln, but hey. I'm just gonna heal up a little bit, that way I can get to town without running into any random fights, and... That would be the kicker, you know, just... Dying out here. <laughs> After all that. Going back. Never speak of this place again. <laughs> oh, it's too... Too far night for that. So I get to heal, and I'm going to try and gain some levels here. So I'm just gonna grab my spells for now, and I'm going to uh, rest until morning. I'm going to identify that one random sword I picked up, and then I'm going to uh, turn in my stuff and see if we can get some levels. 
don't even know what that meditation does. I don't even know why I keep picking it up. And he never got a chance to use his fireball. Did I just memorize a whole bunch of magic missile? Yeah. Oh well. We're using magic missile this round. <laughs> Turn in our gear. So, some random lord is now happy that we got his kid back, and he handed us some experience and these items that do absolutely nothing. I can sell them for money. So our quest now, destroy the undead, do the pyramid, lizard men, Kadorna con Counselor Kadorna wants me. Go through the south door. Bring this letter to the gentle keep in the west, do not read it. Now, anybody who's played Dungeons and Dragons in the Forgotten Realms probably knows the legacy of Gentle Keep. Very, very evil place. So the fact that he's sending a letter there already makes me wonder. But nevertheless, we're going to follow our mission. The fact that he didn't talk to the, uh, the clerk is also very telling. The fact that he gave it to me kind of secretly. So let's see if any, uh, my fighters can gain any more levels. No, they can. I just don't have enough experience for it. So it's just the cleric who's uh, overpowered right now. Alright, got our levels, and we're going to identify that sword, rest up, and we're going to head on to our next mission, which I might do the Lizardman next. That's probably a long sword plus three. Hmm. Good, good. That was pretty good for uh, where I found it. So I'm gonna have to sell some crap. So we can sell the uh, opal pendant, gives us a lot of money out of it. That's kind of its intention. Necklace of Missile. Still have it. Thought I was going to use it all. I was ready to use it all. And we're going to get rid of our broadsword plus one. And we'll see how the longsword stacks up with the two-handed sword. And nothing to get rid of here. Nothing to get rid of there. And absolutely nothing to get rid of there. Alright. So let's give her the sword. I should probably uh, equip that uh, ring. Might as well, right? Better than nothing. So let's equip our correct character here. So I can either have a 1d10 plus 5 with a thack of 12. 1d8 plus 6 with a Thacko of 11. I'd rather the, the higher Thacko, plus I can equip the shield to lower my AC some more. But I will keep the two-handed sword plus 3 against undead for when we go into the graveyard, because destroying them as fast as possible is uh, kind of the name of the game. 
Alright. So, we're stocked up. I'll do some healing off-screen, and on the next episode, we will take it back to the wilderness and maybe do the Zental Keep mission, because that one's kind of fun. That's, that's one where we're not going to clean up everybody, because there's just no possible way. It's a very famous area in the, the world of the Forgotten Realms of, of this world, so chances are there's no way we're going to be cleaning that out anytime soon. Or anytime at all. But anyway, we're going to go in there. Uh, so I hope you come back for that. Uh, my name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.